Hello third graders. Today for math we are going to review the two strategies that you have learned so far this week with Miss Froby. Now these are super important to fully understand as we move forward. Let me share my screen and we will get started. We're thinking of triple digit addition strategies. Let me go into present mode so you can see better. You have learned two new strategies this week. Let's review the first. We have been using place value blocks with those triple digit numbers. We know that this is representing 100, this is representing 10, and this is representing 1. So when we see a number in the hundreds place, we use this piece. The tens place, we use this piece. And last, we use this piece for the ones place. That's a tongue twister. So think back to the video and you will recognize an equation and a model like this. We have 462 plus 213. We would take the first number and then draw a model for it. We would draw four one hundreds because this number is in the hundreds place. One, two, three, four one hundreds. Then we move over to our tens. There are six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens in the tens place. And last, we would do our two. One, two in the ones place. This model makes up our number 462. Then we move on to 213. Well, my two is in the hundreds place, so I am going to have two 100 pieces. Moving over, we have one in the tens place, so one ten, one ten piece, and our three in the ones place. One, two, three, ones. That makes up 213. Now, to easily add them all together, I'm going to count all the pieces that I have to get my total, my answer to my equation. I'll start with my hundreds because that makes the most sense. That will be the way that I can be the most efficient when counting. I always start in that hundreds place and work my way over. We have one two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, one hundred, six hundred, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tens. So, so far we have 670, 670, one, two, three, four, five, 675 is my answer. Six, seven, five. I have six hundred and seventy five. I have six one hundreds, seven of these tens, and five ones total. Okay. Let's move on. So again, when adding, and I'm just gonna erase, again, when adding, you can make models for each number. Then you count the total number that you have. Okay, I'm just erasing the rest of that writing for you. So when adding, you can make models for each number. Then count the total that you have. 213 plus 140 equals what? Well, I've drawn my model for each number, two hundreds, one ten, and three ones, one hundred, four tens, and zero ones, no ones. Remember, I always start by counting my hundreds pieces to get my total, so let's do that. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. So far, I have a three in my hundreds place because I have 300. I'm gonna move over to my tens place. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I have 
five in that tens place. And last, I have three ones. Three in my ones place for my total of 353. Awesome. I'll just erase my writing now and we'll move on. So that was the first strategy that we learned this week with Miss Froby. Let's talk about the second one now. Let's think back to that other strategy we learned. We used expanded form. We know that when we write a number in expanded form, it looks like this. 500 because of my five in the hundreds place, 40 because of my four in the tens place, and five because of my five in that ones place, 545. It's written in expanded form. Now we can use expanded form to add. We'll take each number and write the value of the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, and then we'll add them together, just like we did with that model, except this is more efficient. So we're just writing it out instead of drawing those models as well. So I'll take again my hundreds first and I'll add together all of my hundreds. You see here in my hundreds place, it's 400 plus 200, that's making 600. I can move right down if I organize it this way. Next, we move over to my tens, that's 60 tens plus 110, that's 70 tens when we write it out in expanded form. And last, we'll move over to the ones. Two plus three is five ones. Then we write that grand answer again, that final total in expanded form. When we add it together, we know that 600 plus 70 plus five is equal to 675. So we stick with the expanded form the whole way. Here's my 462 written out in expanded form. And there's my 213, again, written out in expanded form. It makes it really easy to go through and add. Let's try another one of our own. 611. 600 plus 10 plus 1. I know that that's how I write it out in expanded form because there are six 100s equaling 600, one 10 equaling 10, and one 1. All together that equals 611. I did the same thing for my 187. I got the total of 798 for my answer. But let's think about how I did that. The how is often more important than the what. How did I get there? Why did I do what I did? We always discuss how I don't care as much about your answer. I care about how you got there and your understanding. So let's look at that. So I got 798. I got that because I added first my hundreds place. 600 plus 100 is 700. That's my seven in my hundred spot. Next we move over. I'm doing my tens. 80 plus 10 is 90. A nine in my tens place equals 90. Next we move over to my ones place. Seven plus one equals eight in my ones place. That final answer of eight. 798. And I did that by using expanded form. So remember friends, today we reviewed how to do both expanded form and our place value models. I want you to be able to show me that you know how to use each of these strategies. There will be problems that you come across where one strategy is better than the other. You have to think to yourself, what am I most confident with and what makes the most sense to use right now? You'll get better as time goes along. I'm really proud of you mathematicians. Keep up the good work and do a great job today with your mini lesson with Miss Froby and then your independent practice afterwards.